series end tonight. Game six, those questions are set to be answered. Opening face-off just moments away. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. Lots of time left in this period. Still no score in this one. Idaho's got it in the offensive zone. Hammers one, and that goes wide. Sometimes when you have the puck on your stick in a primetime scoring area, it's not about threading the needle, and when you try and thread it, sometimes you miss, and that's what happened there. Allen's gonna play it from the corner. Takes the feed in the court. Big time stop with the glove. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Idaho's got the puck. Tries to feed it across. Inside the offensive end, now down the left. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Quick shot! Scores! And just like that, we've got our first of the game. Founder didn't even have her broadcast headset on. I was just putting it on, James. That was incredibly fast, and the coach couldn't have drawn it up any quicker. They say, hey, let's get off to a good start. I'd say they just did. Well, that puck is on and off his stick in a hurry, and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast. Allen's come to play. Look at that. A quick goal here just minutes in. Well, it's all about getting the start that you want, James. And that doesn't always mean a goal. It means being heavy in on the floor check, establishing pressure, capitalizing on their opportunity. That's a bonus, and they do it early in the frame. Oh, what a smart heads up play. Idaho's got the puck in the defensive end. Through center. Idaho's got the puck along the wall. Oh, and he misfires on that. Through center along the wing. Shot! And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. The shot's coming from the middle of the ice, and he hit has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Across the line, along the left wall. Lugs the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Idaho's got the puck along the boards. Gaining momentum along the wing. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Gagnon swooping in on the attack. Idaho's got the puck in their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Good heads. continue to attack. James, this is just an absolute clinic and body position and how to roll off your coverage, and it's perfectly executed as he doesn't have much time to get the one-timer off, but he gets his stick available and he executes. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. The steel head scooping up along the boards. Off a stick and they can't connect. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Takes the feed. The steel heads carry it along the wall. And that stays out as he got just enough of the puck with the glove. And play continues. Picked up along the boards by Miller. The steel heads move the puck in the defensive zone. Idaho's on the attack. Allen's got the puck along the wall. Quick pass to Walker. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. The Steelheads take possession in the defensive end. 
Idaho's Bruce Center in there in the offensive end. Takes a shot, and it was stopped. Here's a chance behind the net. Let's it go. Oh, Hardy, keep it out. What a blocker stop by Perry. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. They're coming in waves. Oh, look at that hit. Moves it around along the half wall. Takes a knock, but he's still got the puck. Slides the puck ahead into neutral zone. play right there. I mean, he's stumbling. He looks like he's going to fall almost, but he's off balance, and that's the key. The puck isn't exactly where he wants it, but he still manages to find a way to get a shot off. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Well past the midway mark of this period, we got a tie game. The Americans take possession here inside the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. Idaho's got it in their own zone. On the attack and on the boards. They score! And the deadlock is broken as they... Huge, and you can see everyone standing up on the bench. They know how much it means, but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. This is exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. Idaho's finding another level here in the back half of the first, now up by one. Well, they're playing their brand of hockey, aren't they, James? I mean, they've been so competitive, and it would look like this is a pretty tight game, but it's not when you look at the shot selection and the shot share. They have just dominated in terms of having the majority of shots on net. And that's knocked away by Rodzinski. Takes the feet at the back end. Tremendous read and even greater sacrifice on the block. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. The Americans gain control of the puck against the wall. Lines, come on. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh my goodness, it's stayed out. What a save. It was all but in James and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck. That was on display. Such an impressive save, James. And I love to look at these ones again because it's not just being in great position. It's being desperate. It's finding a way to get to the puck, keeping your eye on it at all times, tracking it, out-battling and out-willing everyone around you. The Steelheads have used their advantage in shots to take the lead here in the first. Offense is open. Draw. Poked away in the defensive end. And a battle for that loose puck along the boards. Thompson's been so impressive, in particular in that last sequence, James, and he is out of gas. It didn't prevent him from making that save, but now he's going to get some much-needed rest as that puck heads out of his zone. Broken up at center. Allen's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Reaches out and uses the stick. Idaho's got control of it now from their own end. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Oh, big time save by Perry. Allen's got it against the boards. Let's move to the middle. And it carries off a twig in front of the net. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Play is stopped, and here's the official call. Listen, it's a tight game. It's late in the period. You've taken a penalty. Now you got to stay in the present, stay in the moment, kill it off, and then you can reset in the intermission. First chance of the night here on the man advantage. An opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well. See how they're playing it, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. Completes the pass, but all sorts of pressure here. Allen's got a hold of the puck. We got a whistle as the puck sails into the bench. Chance to reset here on the draw on this man advantage. And they win the draw here in their own end. And manages to clear the zone. Poked away in the offense. 
Classic Sun by Roby Do. The Steelhead's taken along the wing. And a nice puck check inside the neutral zone. Both sides taking in for that puck along the wall. And a successful clearing attempt. Loses his balance on the play. There's the whistle as the play was offside. Idaho's execution has been on point so far here in this first period. There's the buzzer, 20 minutes in the books, second period just around the corner. Hey fans, don't forget to get the seats you want to the games you want by purchasing one of our six game ticket packets today. Teams are on the ice. They're ready to drop the puck here for period number two. Idaho's going to have to work quickly here on this man advantage if they hit the strike. Shot makes a save. Gets a piece of it with the glove. Lots of time left in this period. Idaho's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. And the puck's knocked loose. And he moves it up to Roby Do. Allen's got the puck against the half wall. The Steelheads have it from their own end. Idaho's looking to break out. The Steelheads were played from the corner. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Makes the move in front. The Americans gain control of it. Keeps possession. Regains control here in the neutral zone. Taken by Register. Here's a short pass to Murphy. Poked away in the neutral zone by Kanadi. Great use of the wall in the pass. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. The Americans look to start the transition game. And the puck's booted away. Oh, and they go back on corner. Too many bodies in the way. Fournier's moving it ahead. The Steelheads gain control of the puck. Moves the puck along the half wall. Oh, what a save! Oh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. I really want to look at this last save again, James, because this is about taking it to the next level when you have this level of competitiveness, athleticism, and desperation and urgency in your game. You know that goaltending coach, they can't just teach this. This is instinctual, and this is what winners are made of. Idaho's got the lead here early in the second period. They have been the more active team offensively. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Here's a shot, makes a save. Pinned up along the boards. Gives him a tap with a stick, and the referees don't like it. Fournier's got it against the boards. No one for that one to get through. Takes it from the other side of the blue line. Sends it in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Let's see the call here. Everyone has a job and a role to do, and guess what? It's about PK execution right now. They have the one goal lead, now they're protecting it. The Americans will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Well, they create a power play opportunity with hard work, and now it's an opportunity to get back in this game, James, finding a way to move the puck quickly and create scenes to get shots on net. Puck clears the zone. Allen's got a hold of the puck now. Works it across to Roby Do. Here's a chance. Makes a save. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Now over to Gagnon. Idaho's got a hold of it along the wall. Pumps the puck away. Fires it on net. Handles that one. 
Both sides are evened up now as the power play expires. The next shift is critical, James. They had the opportunity on the power play to get back in it and get the equalizer. Now they're down by one, so they have to manage some energy here, and they have to dictate pace and get back in the game. what's happening right now I think he makes a really good read here James he anticipates the play well and gets himself square to the shooter but unfortunately this one hits him and he seems to be a little leaky because it finds its way to the back of the net Idaho's extended the lead to two goals now here in the second. They look good tonight. Well, they look great, and I'm not surprised by the score. I mean, they've dictated the pace of play, but it's more about how they've dominated in the shot selection. they put a lot to the net, James, and they've been rewarded for it. Feeds it over to Walker. He carries the puck up along the wing. Register stick handling in his own zone. Still keeps a hold of it. Tries to feed it over to McCauley. The Americans looking against the half wall. Turned aside with a glove by Thompson. The Steelheads continue to lead it here in the second period. They have been very active in the offensive zone tonight. Allen's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Idaho's got a hold of it against the wall. Takes the feed. Great save by Perry. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Allen's got the puck against the boards. Stop by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Thompson's been a consistent presence in the crease, James. I mean, he's made the stops he's needed to, but his team's playing extremely well, and that's why they have a comfortable lead. More than half the period has expired. Idaho's got a 3-1 lead. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Allen's gained possession along the boards. Takes the feed as center moves up ahead. The Steelheads will play it from the defensive zone. And it's a quick pass to Keeler. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. What a stop right there! And the puck hops out of the offensive zone. They'll be forced to regroup. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. The Steelheads will play it in their own end. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. The Americans get a hold of the puck along the boards. Nice zone entry from the middle. Allen's got him along the wall. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Hammers the shot! Stops him cold! And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Here in the late goings of the period, 3-1 is where we're sitting. Fans being treated to a lot of offense thus far. Idaho's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Sends the pass over. The Steelheads take it along the wall. The Americans gain possession. Make it change, make it and they'll dump it in. The Steelheads have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. The Steelheads continue to lead here in the late stages of this second period. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? And that carries off a of body in traffic. Puts it in deep. Slick feed. Moves it quickly over to Murphy. Grabs the puck at center. Play rolls on. In traffic. And less than a minute to go here in the middle frame. Takes the pass. Fires it. Wow, what a stop by Perry. McCauley's gaining momentum. 
momentum. Shoot it. Moves it to the middle. Hunter doesn't connect. Well, there you go, 40 minutes in the books. All right, friends, go grab yourself some water, get hydrated, and then buckle up because we got an exciting third period coming up in moments. Hey, fans, be sure to get your season tickets now at this year's playoff locations and prices. And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. for that one-timer. The steel hits win the face-off. Denies him! Here he's able to square up to the shooter right here who's in a dangerous position in the slot area. What a great save, James. Idaho's got it in their own zone. Tries to get the puck to Kanadi. The steel hits are in transition. The Americans have possession shorthanded. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. He scores! A power play goal! Well, especially teams are often the difference maker. It's why you spend so much time in practice working on them, James, and they took advantage of their opportunity. The goaltenders are just so good in this league, James. If they see the shot, they are going to stop it. And so you got to get traffic in front of the net. On this power play, they do an excellent job of getting bodies in front of the paint. I know it's playing almost like they want a day off here tomorrow, Cheryl. Yeah, I'd say so. And you always look forward to a day off. And this coaching staff has got to be impressed with this team tonight. You know, the ability to get the puck to net, driving the pace of play and just having really great habits, consistent effort right through the game. Tries it to the crease! Oh, a spectacular save right there! Wow. Unbelievable! I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Scores! Off the post and in! Well, that's a real sneaky one that fooled the goaltender, James. I had not much room available, but that one? Executed. Oh, how many times has this happened in a game, James? I mean, you get a golden opportunity at one end. Everyone's pressing forward. The quick counter-attack and transition gets going the other way, and then it capitalizes. That's a great one for one team, and it's a tough one to take for the other. The Steel Heads continue to ring up the score here in period number three. Well, it's just been a terrific collective effort. Now they're on the home stretch, and the coaching staff has a real opportunity to utilize their bench, rest their star players, and this is critical when you're in a long season. The Americans have it now. Oh. Allen's got the puck in the defensive end. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. And he loses change control up, of the puck. Up. Scooped up along the wall by Murphy. Puck picked up by Wobidoo. From the neutral zone, moving forward here along the boards. The Steel Heads gain possession along the wall. Scoops up the puck here. With possession along the wall. And that's a great read to force the turnover. Let's get the call. The Steel Hits are going to serve two for tripping here. in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Crash possession of the puck. Takes oh. a shot.
They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. The Americans will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Idaho's penalty killers get a hold of it. And the puck leaves the zone. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Slides the puck over. Oh, he gets a piece of the puck to the in there. A chance to effective power play you have to move the puck around with precision and you have to create some motion to open up lanes that's exactly what happens here they're able to get the puck to the middle of the ice and that's how they get the goal allen has got to find a way to continue to attack here now right cheryl yeah and they're going to do that by throwing defensive structure out the window and just pushing forward you can expect four players to be involved in the attack when they get going north and they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Passes it over to Karate. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Blocked in traffic. Harry's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Idaho's dominated in the puck possession department, putting plenty of shots on net, and they lead by a wide gap in the third. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. The steel hits are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. I won't be surprised to see the 1-3-1 again. They had success on it earlier, James. And listen, I love this. I coach this with my team because I love the bumper spot and I love the net front player. And you're taking away the eyes of the goaltender, but he can also pop out below the goal line as an option. So variation can strike. Puck move back to the neutral zone. Looking to break out here on the power play. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. The steel hits will kill off a few extra seconds now. Sends it quickly to Jacobs. Here's the shot. And there's a club save on the play. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. The Americans win the draw and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. And he was right there to make the stop on that play. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. And he takes the pass. From the right wing, he moves into the middle. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Jacobs carries the puck in his own zone. The Americans play it along the wing. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Register. Takes a shot. Well saved made by Perry. Idaho's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. The steel heads take possession off the faceoff. Here's a shot. And he comes up with the glove save. Idaho's motor has been non-stop tonight. Lots of shots on net, and they lead in the third. The Americans win it in the defensive zone. Allen's gained the line and into the zone. Here's a chance to the middle. Here in the back half of this period, the steel hits lead at 5-2. Smart play to take possession, sneaking in off the wing. Center and field! Oh, he comes up with a stop. Steps in front of it for the play. Across the line. The steel hits gain control of the puck against the wall. Tosses it to Keeler. 
The Steelheads have it now. And he slides it quickly to register. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? This is a dialed-in goaltender. Very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes the save. Idaho's got possession of the puck. The Steelheads move it ahead. Idaho's got the puck along the wall. Allen's got control of it now from their own end. The Steelheads scoop it up along the boards. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Miller's taking it from his own end. Grabs the puck. Up along the wing. Here they come on the attack. Oh, was he locked in on that as he stops the one-timer? Quick feed to Miller. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Jarvis plays the puck. Oh, save it. What a stop. Wow, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and sending a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Idaho's coaches have to be pleased with what they've seen tonight. No shortage of scoring opportunities and no shortage of goals. That's a smart read with the two centermen tied up. Oh, what a blocker stop on that. Grabs it in his own end. And now he moves it quickly to Ernie. And he slides it quickly to Murphy. Shoot it, shoot it. Puts it on net, and he hangs on just as time runs out. There's the final horn, and this one's in the books. We anticipated a series that could go the distance, and here we are, Cheryl. Yes. Game seven up next. It's incredible, is it? And if you're the team that just tied this series up to force a game seven, you're feeling pretty happy, and you're feeling like you've got a little bit more of the momentum here. So the start of game seven is going to be critical. You want to make sure that you continue that energy right through that opening frame. Cannot wait. They're giving us the go-home cue, so we're going to get out of here. Thanks so much for joining, and we'll see you next time here on EA Sports.